Anna, we've already mentioned uh, the two of them, Beboot and Bouchoir, but a pretty standard lineup. He did. Fans will be familiar with him. A couple players to look out for for Hartford, Hairston and Barrera in the midfield both got the nod for team of the week. And Galena, who's very much in form up front. They've got a very exciting attack of the visitors as we are underway. And it is green against green. Find his rhythm and form again in an FC Tulsa shirt. Sebastian Sanchez, steady start from him. Out to Faisal Batash, who tries to catch the goalkeeper unawares. Anna, you can see already Patrick Segrist. He finds Darm. Darm's been pushed a little bit further forward. Here's Diallo inside the box. Diallo goes down, and the referee says penalty. Elton Garcia is the experienced centre official. He was 20 or so yards away. Stojanovic then, who scored four goals this season, hasn't had a chance from the spot, will hit this right-footed. And he comes up now and strikes it into the net. Beautiful penalty. FC Tulsa are still in this playoff race. It is FC Tulsa 1, half an athletic nil. With his... Terminix is that FC Tulsa have to win both of their games, Anna, but Oakland Roots cannot pick up any points from their two games. And again, unfortunate from an FC Tulsa perspective that you do have to rely a little bit on other things that you can't control. Danger in the area, chance! And Barrera holds his head in hands because that was a chance for the top three in a home playoff berth. Half an athletic coming away with the ball here. Just about <laughs> kept in. Engelina into Mamadou Jang. Engelina again, now Barrera, who had a really good chance to level things up. Marcus Epps, who would love to score against his old club, hits the post, came pretty close. Wanting to convert in those big moments, and these are, you know, ideally you want to have a clinched playoff spot at this point, but these are the games where your big time players need to step up in, and you, you look to them to do that in those big moments and stay calm, have that level head. Stojanovic able to do that so far for FC Tulsa and for Hartford Athletic wanting to do the same here. Yeah, here's the ball into the box and it's an own goal. It's come off Alexis Sawahi and we are level at 1-1. It was good play from Engelina down the left-hand side. He played the ball into the box and unfortunately for Alexis Sawahi that goes into the net and we are FC Tulsa 1, half an athletic one. Epps, who's been lively, runs into trouble with Sebastian Sanchez. Referee deeming everything to be fair. Ball rolled off here for Danny Barrera. Out to the dangerous Engelina. Engelina, who loves to run at defenders, go on to his right foot, shoot. Just past the target. Segrist, ball to the far post. Stojanovic was looking to have a shot. Owen Darm laying it off here for Sanchez. Sanchez cushions the ball out to Faisal Potash, who will try one. And that was just over the bar. There was no touch from the goalkeeper, says the referee. But Potash not afraid to have a go there, Anna. Yeah, Katrina at Fresh Max corner. Here's Barrera's left footed in swing. It's a really good one, but it was a good header away, glancing header away by Patrick Segrist. Samadia trying to go around Batash does get the ball into the box headed away by Bouchoir there's a, a shot flashed in is Marcus Epps clever ball from Epps to Galina Galina hits Sawahi who gets in the way and now Galina heads it back in and Johan Penuranda catches the ball FC Tulsa would dearly love their fourth home winner the season as Owen Darm throws it into the box it comes out here to Sebastian Sanchez who chips it towards goal that's a routine save for the Brazilian Hibera. Jang. Jang was offside, first offside for his team in this game. Head down. Samadia. 
Good ball, Angelina's got space here. Angelina, right footed shot, saved by Peñaranda's right leg. And it goes away for a goal kick, but that was the last action of the first half. And it's been very, very entertaining. And it finishes 1-1. And a lot for the coaches to talk about down in the locker room, Tanabova. And as you saw at the end of that last play, Pina Ronda just trying to kind of bring the energy up for FC Tulsa in Galena. For Hartford Athletic, and Kyle Edwards has come into the fray. Away by Joe Farrell. B-Boot now acting as left winger into the box. Alex Deloop. Batash, Batash will curl one, and it wasn't that far away. Isaac Batash had a shot in the first half, Anna. There's one in the second. So Media did well. Sawahi heads away. Ball chipped to the far side. Budadi heads in field. It's loose. There's a chance, and there's a save from Peñaranda, and the flag's gone up, and Hartford Athletic have scored a goal. It may have been untidy, but it may well have been the game winner here for half an athletic. FC Tolson now have to score two goals in the next 10 minutes. We'll get the replay. FC Tolson won half an athletic. Now the ball comes out to the left hand side. Alex Delu, urgency from FC Tolson now. Matthew Bell, round one into the box, round two, shoots straight at the goalkeeper, Bell did all the hard work, but the shot Anna just too straight at the goalkeeper. From Jang is back there, Harvey Sinclair, Segrist, last man, Matash, first time ball into the box, Pacheco into the side netting, it was a really decent ball from Batash, and it hits the side netting. Half an athletic still to play Tampa Bay Rowdies. As Segrist goes forward and Orange County. There's Bell with a shot and a good save from the goalkeeper who got right behind that. A throw in, BB wants the ball, he takes the throw in quickly. Batash, Segrist, we've played the 10 minutes. Delu, into box, flicked header, goalkeeper save. And Hartford Athletic keep their race to the playoffs sponsored by Terminix Alive. FC Tulsa are officially now eliminated from the playoffs.